All right, hello, everyone, and welcome back to Medieval Dynasty, where it is a new year and a beautiful spring morning. And oh god, that that pop up on the first day of spring is horrifying. Just you know, giant reminder: pay your taxes. <laughs> Oh, I like it though, I like it. So, off camp since the last episode, I did get this uh, almost finished up. We just need the planks for these last two things. So we need six more logs. And I'm gonna let my logger dude handle that, cause well, I think he should be fine there. Cause well, we need to go into town, pay our taxes of course, and then also speak with uh, the people we're trying to recruit to our little uh, village. And hopefully we can get them there, get them working on some things, making some stuff, and uh, see where to go from there. Now I'm a little torn on what to do next though, because if we actually go into here real quick. Uh, first off, thank you guys for uh, clarifying more on the excavation shed. Apparently that does not get you any uh, iron, just stone, clay, and limestone. That's still an interesting thing, though, because with the woodshed getting sticks and the excavation shed getting rocks, I could put someone on crafting to make just crap loads of simple stone tools to sell. Because, I mean, I don't care to be making those personally, because the throwing stones seem to be, for the resource and time commitment, the best thing to sell. But if I can have a person making those things, like stone knives or stone hatchets, something along those lines, that might be a good way to go. I'm intrigued. I also wanted to check real quick when we're in town what it would cost, or rather how we could sell our stone arrows for. I'm guessing it's going to be one, because everything sells for at least one. And I'm wondering if maybe stone arrows might be a, another good potential way to go. The problem is the feathers. It takes so many feathers to make those darn things. I don't know. I don't know. Might not be worth it. So where is good old Unagast? I gotta pay my taxes. Where are you, buddy? Ah, there he is. There he is. And it also is a quest thing because yeah, you gotta pay your taxes. Hi, Unagast. How are you? How are you? So, did you come here to pay your taxes? Yes, here you go. That should cover everything. Ah, oh, splendid. And dialogue. How much money did we just spend? I don't remember what my taxes were. Show me your wares! Ooh, they sell for two! Huh. Huh. The problem is how many feathers you need. The stone and the stick part's real easy. It's the feather supply that is the pain for this. And I don't know if it would actually be worth it to make loads of those. Ha! Uh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. We'll have to think on that. All right, I'm good for now. Later, Unagast. Okay, let's go chat with the... Uh, who is it that's over here? I forget. Oh, God, also did... There's new people here I haven't seen before. Oh, my God, is that a thing? Does, like, every year do the, like people you can recruit in a village change, or, well, not change, but update? Because, yeah, these two, Roche and Bogna, I have definitely not seen them here. Ildefonza, uh, er, Ildefonza, her I definitely have, and let's actually have a chat with her real quick. Hi, my dear, how are you? You got a minute? Uh, oh, crap. I don't know if she likes gossip. No, I can't, I can't screw this up today. Actually, never mind. Hold on. I need to look at your stats again. You do hunt. You do hunt. Huh. All right. So that one would probably be good. Any hunting tips? Yes. Plus five. Beautiful. Uh, you've got a lot to learn. Maybe I could teach you someday. Blah, 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 blah. You got a minute? Crap. D d uh, I don't remember if this was good or bad with her. It's good. We're fine. All right. Got a new settlement. Hi. Join me. Beautiful. <laughs> yes! We have Ildefonsa! Perfect. Now let's go across and try and get the other dude. And then we'll have two more workers. Perfect. 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 Ooh, and now that we're in spring, 
Uh, I'll probably go and scythe up all the oats myself, but I think what I'm going to try and do when we have the two people here, hopefully one of them's good at farming, is plant cabbage is good in the spring, I think, was it? You can do spring and then harvest summer and then plant again in summer and harvest in autumn. And then in autumn, I can place barley back down to harvest back in spring. Because with that, all of that in hand, we could have a never-ending supply of pottage for our people so that we have a uh, good amount of food. Yeah, they got new people up here too. <gasps> all right, that's cool. So is that every, every spring they get refreshed? New people added? Also, Egbert was my guy. Ooh, you're not great at farming. Oh god, one of my people has to be good at farming, hopefully. Hi, Egbert, how's it going, dude? Uh, let's talk. <sighs> nice weather? Oh, thank god, we're good. Join my settlement. Yay. <laughs> yes! We got Egbert, too! Alright, now let's just make sure they should have gone into the correct house, considering... It's the only other house. Yeah, yeah, they both went in there. So that's that house, and that is Ildefonsa and Egbert. And also, thank you to you lovely commenters who did say that um, what, they're inevitably going to have a kid once they're in here, which I already did know that, but I didn't think about this, but I really should have, because, I mean, it makes sense. Once they have a kid, of course, that goes towards my population count, which I don't know why I didn't think about that. But yeah, yeah, so cool. Cool, 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 cool. So this house up here is me and... Nope, that's not me and my wife. That's the others. Wait, hold on a moment. I forgot my name is Rasimir. <laughs> I was looking for my name, I was like, wait, no, it said Erica Innkeeper, but where's Kotobos? Oh yeah, no, I forgot, we can't choose our name in this game. We are Rasimir, and I completely forgot about that. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. I actually want to click on her. Can I do a thing? Status, family, me, them. I was hoping to see like her pregnancy status in here or something. But no. I mean, I know she's pregnant because she's got the additional plus five to mood, which you get for being pregnant. And, of course, we asked her about it. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, let's uh, keep moving. Wow, the tavern also was 40 on the taxes. Dang. Dang. All right, well, let's go over here. I got to figure out what I want to put those two to doing. Huh... I realized neither of them is really good at farming, though, but some of them are good at... Both of them, actually, I think we're good at hunting, so they should make for a lovely couple, and perhaps we'll put both of them in the hunting shack, one for hunting, one for gathering, and then, uh... God, I hope one of my other people I currently have working can go to do farming, because that'd be nice. Have them do the farming of cabbages. And I'm intrigued. Do I have to buy seeds for them? As I know I don't have to get them tools, which I still find very weird, and I'm sure is something that's going to come eventually, because it just seems weird that your people just magically have tools. Uh, so I'm, gu I'm guessing that's just something that hasn't been implemented yet. Uh, but yeah, for now, let's go grab the scythe and harvest ourselves. Keep a lot of the grain, we'll sell off... Uh, oh no, I forgot, the grain is also the seed. Hmm. Alright, we'll let him continue getting logs for that. So I can also make firewood, but let's get our scythe out. hey -o. I'm going to put this away and this away right now, just because it's taking up space. Oh, also, I need to put on my other clothes. Don't want to be hot here in the spring now. What is my actual temperature? Still comfortable. Still comfortable. Okay. Well, let's, uh, first... Do, 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 do. Take that off, take that off, so we can just pop it straight into here. There go my fur stuffs. Let's grab that. Put those shoes on. Lovely, lovely. Oh, yeah, I got me. I got, a, oh, I got other stuff I got to put up, too. I don't want to be carrying extra weight before the harvest. All right, all right. Oh, and I was carrying that meat on me when the season changed, so it's just going to waste. Oh, lovely. Oh, God, nope, nope. There we go. Four of you, two of you. How many feathers do I have right now? 55. We could make a stack of arrows, but... Yeah, I'm unsure on that. I'm unsure on what I should do about that. 
Hmm. Oh, I wanted to see uh, this. Is this depleted? Oh god, where's the thing? Pickaxe required. Okay, so yeah, the stone magically regenerates as well. Cool. <laughs> that seems weird. <laughs> I know everything regenerates in this, but still, it seems kind of weird. It's rock. Which, so I assume that uh, the iron stuff we mined would also have been regenerated. But okay, let's get the scythe out. Let's pop that on four. Lovely. And let's reap some grain. Nice. All right, I gotta pick up. I gotta... Really? None of that? Oh, that's pick up. All right, cool. Oh, boy. All right, let's just keep going. Maybe I should have put one of my people to this. You know, I also do need to put them to something, considering they're just standing around right now. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Oh, wrong button, wrong button. So, management, let's take a look at my people here again. All right, Ludabor has farming. Ludabor... You're my new farmer. You're going to be a farmer. That's going to be your new profession. So I will replace you with... Huh. Actually, probably your wife. Because she's got two points. And I assume you need the, the, the extraction one for that, maybe? No, I, don't, I don't know. Uh, so yeah, she'd probably do well at it. And we can switch over these two. Both of them I want in the hunting shack for now. Because they both have three on that. Which would be good. Also, I'm assuming... Yeah, gathering. So I'll put the one who has the three points in gathering as the gatherer. So Ildefonsa as that. And Egbert as the hunter. So we can also get some berries too. That'll be a trade good for me, I think. Yeah, 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 let's do that, let's do that. Uh, so, switch these people around. Uh, hunting lodge, let's open up you, hunter. Let's assign someone different, let's put you to you. Egbert, hunter. All right, and assign worker, your wife, Ildefonsa, to gatherer, nice. Then let's set up this. So yeah, the leather working. Yeah, just collect a crap load of berries. So that hopefully we just get loads of those to sell. Uh, then I was going to move over to the woodshed. And replace Ludabor with Lorelei. Yeah, there we go. It is the extraction one. So she's going to do that. And then I'm going to put in the barn? Well, I'll do that after I finish reaping my own grain. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that here in a minute. Mainly because I want to handle this for now. And you know what? Let's just grab this. Then I'll have him start planting cabbage and see if, see if I do, in fact, need to get him seeds. Did I miss any? Nope, that's all just unplowed. Get that, get that, get that. Oh boy, big field. <laughs> you know what, yeah, let's just kind of go along. We'll, we'll come back for the stuff. There we go. Still hate how much this thing degrades every time. It's a freaking scythe. But we can make them now, so yay. That's good. Boy, we're gonna have so much grain from this, which is gonna be perfect. We can feed our people with it. That is lovely. All right. Yep, just right in there. We can get three at once. All right. Perfect. 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 Nice. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Oh, I missed one. That's unfortunate. Oh, I missed one again. Oh, boy. I was doing so well with the three in a row. All right. One last one. Oh, my God. Our scythe is already almost broken. All right, Rye. Wish that was a little bit more visible. All right, we got our rye. Now I want to make rye bread today. I do have everything I need to make rye bread here at home. Lovely. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I just I just feel like making bread now. 
All right. Ooh, you know what? I also just remembered I should do. I should actually save to make the rye bread until this weekend. Because I was going to make a new batch of beer, and then I can use these spent grains plus my rye to make a nice, uh, a nice, nice little extra beer made bread. That's always fun. Noise. All right, all right. This one's a little, going to be a little wonkier. I'm going to have to come back up the other way. Yeah, really don't like how much this thing breaks. It's a goddamn iron scythe. Yeah, two things I think they really need to do in this is one, mess with the durability thing because it's seriously borked. And two, add a repair mechanic. That would be awesome. I'd actually be kind of okay with the, uh, with the crappy degradation on this stuff if I could repair it. So yeah, that's what people did. I mean, that's what people still do. You don't buy a tractor and then, you know, get rid of it once something on it breaks. You, you repair it. Those things are expensive as crap. <laughs> that's what I think would be the best way for them to go about that. Oh, I still missed that one. Dang it. All right. Pick it all up. Pick it all up. How much we got? How much of this we got to collect? All right. A lot. All right. Get that. Get that. Get that. You know, I can put away the scythe so I can actually see things better. That's a good plan. Oop. Got it. Oh, yeah, and then we gotta thresh all this. You know what? I may give that duty to whoever I put in the barn. <laughs> well, no, because I need someone in the... I need them to actually do planting. Oh, there's some. Miss any? Yep. Uh, nope, that all looks good. Let's check over here. And that all looks good. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so yeah, I want someone on the fields. Uh, so, how do I, do I assign them to the field? No, I gotta assign them to the barn. So barn, assign worker, Ludabor. God, my, my wife is great at everything. Look at all of her skills there. <laughs> Let's, oh yeah, okay, now we put him as a field worker. Yeah, put him as a field worker. And have him, oh boy, so he's got to fertilize. Oh, God. Uh, oh no, that's producing fertilizer. All right, so right. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So field, what I want this to be... Oh, wait, now no, we've got cabbages. There we go. All right, and switch this one, too. Yes. And then this one, also cabbages. Perfect. Yes. All right, so now go back here to the barn. You. No, you... Earning cooking resource can be crafted into threshing. Uh, okay, so wait, 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 what did we do? Oh, that's only for the farmer. The farmer handles that, handles that, and we don't actually have a farmer. I've just done the field worker and field worker only. A worker building for a worker building for field working, threshing, and flour milling. It also, is a workstation for crafting grain, seeds, manure, and feed bags. A threshing floor, mill, and a small storage. All right, so he's on the field worker, so he should be doing this. Hopefully. We'll see. We'll find out. We'll find out. I need to go thresh grain. How much did we get actually of the rye? 291. Yes. All right. Oh, my God. That's going to take a while. <laughs> so. Boy. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I really don't want to do all that. Uh, let's, uh, let's just do, like, uh, let's just do, like, 50 of it for now. We'll store the rest and do it later. That gives me more reason to build another house, though, to get someone in here to be a farmer. Oh, God, we're just whacking it with my scythe. <laughs> I forgot it does that with whatever tool we're in our hand. 
Or now is that supposed to be a threshing tool? Because, I mean, there are multiple different ways of threshing, and I only know of two, so I don't know. Maybe that is supposed to be quite a different tool because it doesn't look like my scythe now that I'm thinking about it. But all right, we got ourselves a lot of more rye grain and straw. Perfect, perfect, perfect. But yeah, I'm a little torn, though, on what to do building-wise, because we can currently only build one more building. And I still want to build a small house for myself, because, you know, move my me and my wife into there, so we have the bigger house in the village, and then move other people into our current place. Hi, right, buddy, how's it going? Uh, and then hopefully that'll be, you know, good for a while, so then we can get other people. But the thing I'm kind of debating on, I'm going to put the straw over here and the other one, is the fact that um, I can only build one more building currently. So, I basically have to choose, do I want another house for more people, which I think is where I'm going to go with, or do I want another building for production of some form? Oh yeah, I was going to look at logs and grab... Six. Oh, yes, we got 14. God, I love my workers. All right, I need six. There we go. We can go make the planks. Then I can grab my hammer and get back to finishing the smithy. All right, so planks, craft. Whoops, I hit F. I made it hit E to do the full thing. Yeah, so I'm debating on what I want to do there. There we go. So yeah, I think, I think the other house would be good, because then we can get more people doing things. I can get someone to be a farmer to actually do the threshing for me, and I can set one someone in crafting to maybe be crafting items. Oh, but the problem is I also want an extraction shed once we do get that, so we can have someone collecting raw stone and such. So maybe pull someone from, you know, right now we got two people in the hunting lodge. Maybe pull one of them to do crafting then in that case. Because, yeah, it's definitely going to be kind of a all-over-the-place thing. But, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to go with. One by Building myself a bigger and better house. And... Oh, yeah, I can put the scythe in there, too. Uh, whoops, wrong way. There we go. Pop that. It's not going. It's not, it's not going. What? Why isn't it going? Uh... Let's select another thing real quick. I've never had it have an issue before with something I was holding in my hand. It's still not moving. Huh. Uh. Let's try taking it off of that. How do we, you know what, do we drop it, drop it. There we go. It's, oh no, it's glitched in the wall now. Pick it up. There we are. Now can we pop it in? No, we still can't. What the hell? Oh, it can't fit in there. Because we already have too much stuff. Oh, all right. Well, right now, let's take that. I'm going to be a little over encumbered, but we put that in. There it is. There it is. All right. Let's finish the building. I didn't even think about that, but there we go. Let's finish you. We got the planks. Perfect. And we now have a smithy. Ooh, what all we got here? What all we got? So crafting here. So we got iron tools, all of which I need to unlock. Iron weapons, all of which I need to unlock. And then over here, we've got... Okay, same thing as the other crafting station, it seems. Which is weird. You really think that they wouldn't have the same things in here? And then we got this. Okay, I, I may need... Uh, wait, no, I do have iron in my inventory. Wait, what? How do I use this? There is nothing I can do in here. Wait, what? I do have the iron on me, right? Granted, it would... Sh wait, what? Uh, do I have to put it in the chest? What? How? 
how does iron work? How do I, how do I use the forge? What? Can I? Can I? Wait, hold on. Do I have to? Well, no, because it usually shows though. If I need the tech, it'll show it as buy tech, like these. Uh. Oh boy, we're also real low on money right now. What? Um. What's going on? What's um? Now, I'd love for you people to tell me in the comments, but unfortunately, I'm going to record one more after this, so I won't see in time. So I'll probably, I'll try and read off cam, you know, between this and the next episode, uh, what I am going to need there, but that is really weird. Hey, we got more rot. Let's do, pop that over into the other thing. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's go pop that over here. Nice. You, Ludabor, hi. Are you actually doing anything? Actually, uh, let's turn at least some of it into manure. Fertilizer. Hey, we can make eight. Nice. I really hope Ludabor is actually planting. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I did the farming wrong. I'm, I'm not sure. I think I did it right. I mean, he's a farm hand or field hand. He's just kind of standing there now. But let's let's take a look at the field here in a second. Does he need seeds? I I have genuinely no idea if I need to buy him seed and manure. If if that is the case, then oh god, I have fifty manure I gotta buy, and I don't got the money for it. Cause yeah, he doesn't seem to be doing anything. Uh, management, status, field worker, type farming. Open details for that. Uh, nope, whoops, didn't mean to go out of there. Barn, yeah, he's the field worker. Uh, does he need fur? Because that, that's all stuff for the farmer. Hmm. And he's a field worker, though. Do I oh, do I have to then assign him to the field? Maybe that's it. Maybe that's it, and I didn't realize. Okay, so select that. Uh, how do? Hmm. Can I not assign a field? So I don't see anything here for, like, assigning a field. And if I open the... Did, nope. Nope, didn't mean to do that. Huh. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> yeah, a decline on that. Uh, huh. Yeah, we only got the open details there. When I do that, I can only select that. I can't click those. Uh, yeah, that just changes that. I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. Also, God, 50 tax on that? Ugh. Oh, and 50 on the... Oh, I need so much money. Manage assignment. No, no, it's, it's him. Well, I got no idea. All right, I'm gonna have to read on that, too, because, yeah, I've got no clue. I'm gonna have to figure that out between... I mean, hopefully it shouldn't take me too long to figure it out. Do I need to buy him stuff? We haven't needed to get, like, tools or anything for people. So do I need, like, fertilizer in the barn for him to be able to do stuff? I don't, I don't know. I mean, I'm going to go read about it right now because I'd need to. 
Uh, and yeah, I'll also read about what in the hell I do about the smithy. Hmm, no idea. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this one, though. I mean, I know we're still fairly late in the day, but we're almost at 30 minutes now, and I just, I need to figure this out. So that's what I'm gonna do off cam real quick for a few minutes, and hopefully get this sorted, and then I'll bring you back in the next episode, in the next day, where, uh, hopefully we progress further. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this one. Hopefully you all have enjoyed, and you do come back for the next one. Until that time, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one. I keep forgetting we can punch things. Cool. Later, folks!